First of all, to say that uh, uh, I would love to, to, to share our findings, but also I'm very marked by what I, I have observed recently in Northern Benin and Northern Togo. But we have, uh, perhaps during the, the, the discussion, we can uh, share all this. The first uh, point is the general structure of AQIM, which this, uh, with this uh, very complex evolution. Uh, as you may know, we have five branches. Uh, the former GSPC fighters with Al Murabi Jun and Mokhtar Bel Mokhtar, which was replaced by another Mauritanian. You have the Ansardin, which is originally founded by Iyad Al Ali, and which is also evaluating in Gao and the northern Mali, with some new personalities coming in this very uh, move, uh, important movement uh, inside IQIM. And you have also the Katiba Masina, you, you may know, which is founded in 12, uh, 2012 in Kona, in central Mali, with the pressures of Muhammad uh, um, uh, Kufa. Uh, so what we can see uh, before talking to the two other branches is a kind of regionalization of jihadist strategy in the Sahel with a strong dimension uh, of community in, involvement. We can see that with the two movements, like Mujao, Movement pour le, le Jihad et l'Université en Afrique de l'Ouest, uh, is it a splinter group of al murabitun that later become uh, Eta Islamic or Grand Sahara, and we can, uh, they operate in the, between Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, and now uh, more and more in other countries. And the Katiba of Serma, the Katiba of Serma is very strange, but because in the beginning, people were thinking that all the group, terrorist groups are from the Tuareg, all the others, and he is, he's a Bambara, like uh, someone who, who is from Mali, from the, the Malenke zona, who is now evaluating even toward Guinea in the Yanfolia forest and, and the whole Niger part in Guinea. And also, uh, this is one of the main important groups I can say. Now, we can uh, talk about the blurred structure of, uh, of, uh, of AKM. It is a kind of division of labor strategy. AKM is in, always in recomposition within the region terrorist, uh, and the, with the terrorist group. And we have a lot of Katibas, Katibas uh, and uh, Katiba Mina Falantis in Arabic, which are uh, difficult to identify. And they operate mainly uh, in the uh, harassment uh, uh, of security forces in Burkina Faso, and now more and more in northern Togo and Benin, and with highly mobile element. And they continue to have uh, their own autonomy, but depending on the IQM, and they have local shura. Shura in Arabic means Islamic consultation and, and assembly. Uh, apart from this, you have this uh, structuring which gives the impression of dispersion, but they are really organized. They want just to, to share, um, to have a, a division of the labor strategy. And you have a lot of personality who are emerging like Talha ibn al-Libi, al al who is a Malian fighter who grow in Libya, and other personality you can see in this uh, group. But now, the more uh, emerging, uh, the more in uh, interesting to see is this extension to Burkina Faso and Northern Togo and, and Benin. And now let us come to the, this kind of expansion. What is the strategy of expansion of this group, what we call, uh, uh, what we have to use to call uh, below, uh, they they expand through breaches and creation of zona of instability. That means that the third group uh, they have not uh, they have a new kind of organization to try to implement themselves in a lot of countries by creating zones of instability. And they have they make a lot of effort to control border areas in Bene, in Burkina Faso, and other Katibas, also even the, the Gurma Katiba, uh, which is uh, in the Fada Gurma in, in, in Burkina Faso, and evaluating in cooperation with the Katiba Masina. Also, we have all this dawn of passage and sporadic uh, attack in northern Benin and Togo, even in Ghana, and uh, they try to create what we call some markers. Markaz in Arabic uh, means center, but Markaz is a kind of, uh, 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 which is multiplying now in Northern Benin. They, they are some leading basis uh, for uh, regrouping fighters, uh, to have logistics, etc. And we, have, we, we, can, we can consider the same strategy uh, with the Katiba Masina 
in Burkina Faso and in Benin, and also the Islamic State in the Sahel, which is a new name of uh, Islamic or Grand Sahara. Even when you uh, continue the common jury, uh, like uh, near Togo, and you have the Katiba Masina, which is very active now, and also some fighters, uh, which is interrogating through Northern Benin in the department of Atakora and uh, Alibori and other departments, which are now very targeted with, uh, by the, the SMS group. And now, AKIM strategy in the region today is seem to uh, uh, revolve around the creation of zone of instability and the instrumentalized to instrumentalize the intercommunity conflict. This is very important point because we uh, and the international community uh, we are continuing to fight terrorism like a foreign body, but more and more uh, people we call terrorists are from those countries, they're indigenous, there is some, uh, 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 they born in these countries. Uh, and uh, now we, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sure that we have to think about it in the city approach we have until now to use military, to use uh, everything to fight terrorism, intelligence is very important. But what we can have to do more and more is to try to establish dialogue between the central state and the community because the, 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 the extremists who are uh, exploiting, are instrumentalizing the frustration of this uh, community. And what about the, the financing of AKM? Uh, it's a very complex uh, question about the, the financing. Uh, it's, it's generally, it's still a matter of debate among the experts, as you may know. But I think that it is necessary to integrate the interdependence between terrorist group and, uh, and the change they have uh, occurring in the current uh, uh, territory and space now. You have this recomposition. In the meantime, you have autonomization. You have the, just, OK. We, we, we talk about the Zakat, which is uh, uh, taking for money from people who are very rich, who don't pay that, so sometimes by forcing, uh, like the testimony we have in Northern Benin, uh, in, 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 in Karimama and other, other zona. And also we have the extraction of gold, uh, and uh, also we can have this transportation and control of transit route with a simple role of securing convoys. Sometimes terrorist groups are not themselves uh, involved in drug trafficking, but they cooperate with criminal group uh, by taking money from this criminal group to, in order to finance and to fund their operation. That is uh, this drug trafficking, in, in, which is mainly controlled by the Arab of Tlemcen and uh, the passage of uh, uh, controlling the passage uh, route and right, and also they, uh, they 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 take money from the, the hostage. And you have also all this route from the Sahel to Morocco via Mauritania with this uh, zone we can call al Hank, uh, which is the northern part of Mauritania uh, through the desert, to Malian desert to Algeria border. And some mention also uh, a very important place, very strategic place, which is uh, Wadi Muzarrab. Wadi Muzarrab is a central point, which is uh, uh, the road from northern Mali to Menaka region, and we should continue to, to the other world through uh, European countries like Italy and other countries. And also you have uh, finally the operation again against the Fulani communities in the region. Moreover, uh, this is funding niche is becoming uh, uh, so profitable that Dogon people who are opposed to the Fulani can use that. And, and now this kind of network uh, can also come from, uh, from Northern Mali, from, from Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, and even Senegal. So we can say that uh, they are not this is this spillover is not just by military, but they have a very uh, smart strategy. And the most, most important point we can raise is that we have to pay attention of the communalization of the jihad and how these uh, 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 terrorist groups are using, are instrumentalizing uh, uh, community a conflict in order to look it from the Fulani and other uh, marginalized communities. Okay, I think that it's very important to take into account why we are thinking about the strategy to tackle uh, IPR and tackle terrorism in the region in the meantime. Thank you very much.